The union that represents Fort Worth police officers launched a program earlier this month to support their mental health. Any officers on the force can now receive personal counseling anonymously and free. Fox 4's Dion Anglin has more on the program that's already benefiting officers. Dion. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's no secret. Police work is both physically and mentally challenging, and now some are placing emphasis on the mental aspect of the job. At least one lieutenant here at Fort Worth PD is sharing his story. September 1999. A bloody massacre at Fort Worth's Wedgwood Baptist Church left seven worshipers dead, many of them teenagers. That was probably my first big exposure to a lot of trauma. Lieutenant Ward Robinson, Fort Worth PD. I was dealing with some of the most traumatic events that anybody could have to deal with. Graphic murder scenes, senseless killings. Kids and the elderly, uh, for me personally, have been the harder ones to deal with. All mentally tough to witness. The three-year-old with their head blown off with a shotgun. The dad that decides to kill his sister-in-law, then his seven-year-old daughter. Lieutenant Robinson was for a number of years commander over violent crimes. You get used to compartmentalizing everything and just tucking it all back away in the back of your head uh, because you know that the next hour, the next day, another call is going to come in. Add to that personal tragedy. Robinson's father committed suicide in February 2020, the same year his mother died from a stroke. He says he did not fully confront his grief until a year later when a suspect also committed suicide during a foot chase. As I was sitting there reviewing all of the body camera videos and uh, dash cam videos and everything, all I could see was my, my own dad. And that was basically my trigger event and my breaking point to where I started having issues with anxiety and um, it started getting worse and worse. He began counseling and other therapies known for helping military veterans battling post-traumatic stress syndrome. He is now on a crusade to encourage fellow officers and first responders. Until some of us are willing to step up and do what I'm trying to do now, we will never be able to remove the stigma associated with mental health. There are several things that, you know, will always be an image in my head that I'll never be able to remove. I can't say that that's no longer a part of my life, but I can't say that I now have a lot better way of coping with it and dealing with it and being able to move forward. Now the Fort Worth Police Officer Association, the union representing Fort Worth police officers announced earlier this month a significant donation to the group One Tribe Foundation. That group is providing counseling to officers free of charge and through a process that allows them to be anonymous. It's the very latest live. Back to you guys.